Hello, my name is Arno Rosmarin. I'm from Stockholm Environment Institute. I'd like to share with you a little bit of knowledge uh, concerning peak phosphorus and the global implications. Phosphorus is a substance that is found quite commonly on the planet, but um, a main use of it, which you may not be aware of, is actually in fertilizer. There are many other uses like detergent and incendiaries and other things like that, but about 80% is used in fertilizer. If we look at the trend of, of how this, this resource has been extracted, if we go back to 1800 when um, the population is very, very low on the, on, on the planet, uh, to 1900, we're still you know, less than a billion, 1950, um, so we're talking about a population of 2.5 billion, and then today we're at 7 billion, something like that. The, um, the use of, the, of, the, of mined phosphorus, mainly from sedimentary rock, just skyrocketed during this period. And it's staying up at this level, but increasing uh, some years presently at, at a rate of about 6% per year. And we're at a, a rate of extraction of about 200 megatons of rock uh, per year. The monitoring of this process has not been actually carried out by the United Nations or even uh, the e EU, the European Union. But the, the main source of information is either through industry itself that's doing the mining, but the public source that we use is uh, the United States Geological Survey. So it hasn't been of major concern up to now. Um, one of the reasons why it's of major concern is if you look at where these reserves are, where this rock is being taken from. And according to the US Geological Survey, over 70% of this is coming from one country, and that's Morocco and an occupied territory adjacent to Morocco called West Sahara. Um, obviously, there are some geopolitical implications when the whole world depends on one country for, for its very important fertilizer source. Uh, we're talking about 70, over 70 uh, gigatons of, of rock. Well, 70 gigatons, and we're extracting at 200 megatons per year. What does that mean in terms of how long it's going to last? And these are commercial values, if you like, and um, as the rates go up, as things get more expensive, maybe, you know, the 70 gigatons can maybe turn to 80 gigatons. But it, what we can see from the population projection is that this, that 70 gigatons could be pretty well used up within 170 years, if you look at the United Nations population growth from today, 2010 to 2100, and the peak when we have 9 billion people, that's 2050. Um, but if Africa goes green and we, they start using the world average for fertilizer for NPK, um, that means that this um, target will be reduced to maybe around 125 years. And if we add another factor in the scenario, and that is uh, biofuels, um, representing about 10% of the global requirement in energy. So we're talking about exhaustion of the phosphorus in 50 years' time. 50 years' time, that means we have a geopolitical problem. We have a problem that has to do with a planetary boundary, if you like. The question is, how efficient are we in, in this uh, process of using rock phosphorus for our food, one of the major fertilizer components? Um, just to take it from rock to, to fertilizer, uh, we lose something about 40%. And taking it from fertilizer down to food we eat, uh, the food we actually put on our plates, we lose another 40%. Um, so we only have about 20% that actually enters, enters our bodies. And we have to become much more efficient if we're going to actually meet this challenge of trying to live in a world with limited sources. There are no alternatives. It's not like oil where you can find other energy sources. We need three grams of phosphorus per human per day. And if you're a child putting down bone and teeth, you need uh, even more. So uh, it's, it's a question of 
maybe putting this on the global agenda and actually seeing what can be done, how we monitor the resources, how we deal with the geopolitical challenges, the scenarios of what we're going to use it for, fuel or food, and also how efficient we're going to be in the future. Thank you.